In a compulsory examination held in private on the 18th of September this year, I asked Ms Veridiklian whether, by the time that she asked for Mr Maguire's resignation as Parliamentary Secretary late on the 13th of July 2018, she suspected that Mr Maguire had been or may have been engaged in corrupt conduct. I have played one of my exchanges with Ms Veridiklian in relation to this issue on the 18th of September this year. Is it right that at that point in time you suspected that Mr Maguire had been engaged in corrupt conduct? I didn't know. I couldn't make any assumption at that stage. He was professing his innocence and saying it was a misunderstanding. But I also knew um, I also knew that given the dramatic way in which the information had been revealed and what it could mean, I wasn't sure. But under the circumstances, given he was a parliamentary secretary, uh, I thought it appropriate to ask him to stand aside until the matters were investigated. I'm not asking whether you were sure. What I'm asking is whether at that point in time when you asked Mr Maguire for his resignation, whether you suspected that Mr Maguire had been engaged in corrupt conduct. I didn't know. I'm asking with him you. I'm asking you whether at that point in time you suspected that Mr Maguire was engaged in corrupt conduct or had been engaged in corrupt conduct. I, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was in shock. I didn't know what to think. I didn't I didn't I didn't have enough detail. I hadn't read what was happening. I can't remember what I thought at that time. Let me ask it precisely. As at the time that you asked Mr Maguire for his resignation, did you suspect that Mr Maguire had been engaged in corrupt conduct? I didn't know. I'm not asking whether you knew. I'm asking whether at the time you asked for Mr Maguire's resignation, you suspected that he may have been engaged in corrupt conduct. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I was. I wasn't sure. I'm not asking whether you knew or whether you were sure. I'm asking whether. At the time you asked for his resignation, just let me finish my question. No, I'm not asking whether you knew. I'm asking about the state of your suspicion or otherwise. Did you at that point in time suspect that Mr Maguire may have engaged in corrupt conduct? No. Commissioner, an issue arises as to whether this commission should accept that evidence just played if not to consider why Ms Berejiklian did not make a report to this commission concerning Mr Maguire. The third category of allegation of investigating this public inquiry is an allegation that Ms Berejiklian engaged in conduct that was liable to allow or encourage the occurrence of corrupt conduct by Mr Maguire. During the first public inquiry, evidence was received suggesting that Mr Maguire told Ms Berejiklian information concerning aspects of some of the matters that Mr Maguire ultimately admitted involved an attempt to monetise his offices as a Member of Parliament, Parliamentary Secretary and Chair of New South Wales Parliament Asia Pacific Friendship Group. There was also evidence that suggested on one view that Ms Berejiklian sought to limit the information that she had regarding Mr Maguire's activities, including evidence of a conversation between Mr Maguire and Ms Berejiklian, in which Ms Berejiklian, referring to a deal that Mr Maguire was attempting to do, said, I don't need to know about that bit. Although on the first public inquiry, Ms Berejiklian rejected any suggestion that she was seeking to blind herself from information that might require her to take action in relation to Mr Maguire's conduct, the question arises as to whether Ms Berejiklian's apparent inaction in relation to the information provided to her by Mr Maguire was apt to allow or encourage Mr Maguire to engage in corrupt conduct. Investigating that matter forms part of this Commission's function for investigating allegations or complaints that conduct liable to allow or encourage the occurrence of corrupt conduct has occurred.